Hello, my dear student. Welcome to another edition of your mathematics lesson. Today, we're in continuation with your main topic that is functions in mathematics. What we are going to discuss today is the domain called domain and range. So let's begin. After completing the very lesson today, my dear student will be able to define what is domain. You also be able to define called domain. You also be able to define what is range of a given function. Similarly, you also be able to find the domain, core domain, and the range of a given function. This is what I hope you'll be able to do after completing the very lesson today. My dear student, as usual in your favorite segment of the lesson that is more is fun today, I'll give you another interesting number. This number is 132. It's so special, so unique. In fact, I'll tell you what is special about this very number after completing my lesson today, so don't go away. To begin the lesson, my dear student, let me first define what is domain, core domain, and range. So to do that, let's just consider this function f, uh, which assign each and every x in x a unique value y in y, as is shown in this diagram, that is uh, f is a function from x into y, x is now your very first set, uh, while y is the second set, so it takes each and every element in the very first set and assign it to a single element in the second set y. So let me just use the this to define what will be now be my domain, what will now be my core domain, and what will now be my range. So starting with the domain, that is the set x, that is your very first set. It is that very first set that this function takes each and every element of the very first set and assign it to a single element in the second set. So that your very first set is now called the domain of the function f. And the second set, the second set is now called the codomain. So if you have a function from x into y, x the very first set is now called the domain while the second set is now called the core domain. So let me just move and define what to now be my range. So range will be nothing but, uh, but a subset of the core domain. That is from your core domain, that is your second set. Some elements now, that is a subset of this set Y, your second set, would now be your range. But what are those elements inside that very subset? Uh, will now be those elements that have uh, pre-images. So those elements in your code domain, that if you trace them back, uh, they, are now, they are now having pre-images in the very first set. It is those elements. It is this, those elements that now form the subset, and that subset is now called the range. We are going to take examples how we can now use a particular given function and find it is domain, core domain, and range. So let us move. Example number one, it says the diagram below defines a function f from x in to y. This is the diagram. This is your very first set. This is the second set, and this is the assignations. So the question asked here is to write out the domain of this very function f, also write out the core domain, and also write out the range of that very function f. Solution to this very problem, we define a domain. Remember, is that very first set. So this is now a set containing elements uh, A, B, C, D, and E, as you can see in this drawing. So this is domain is a set uh, of uh, containing this element inside your very first set. So let me just move to domain. Codomain, remember the definition says uh, it is those element in the second set. That is codomain is simply the your second set that is set Y here. So the elements inside there will now be the members uh, of your codomain. So I'm going to have uh, 0 to 6 and 12. You can see 12, of course, uh, it's not, uh, it's not having pre-image in the very first set, but yet uh, it is a member, member in the second set. Then it will now be in the set of codomain. So I'll now move to the range. Range, remember, says it is a subset of the codomain. That is subset of the second set, uh, but contains only those elements that have pre-images. Zero has a pre-image B. 
two hours two two pre image C and E. Six has a pre image D, and uh, six also has another pre image E. So it is these elements that have pre images that formed the subset, and that subset is now called the range. So in this case, my range will now be this elements zero, two, and six. I will now remove this to twelve. So this will now be my range zero, two, and six. Let us move and take another example. Example number two it says let x be a set containing these elements minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two. And let this g be a function that takes each and every element in the set x and assign it to a single element in the set of positive real numbers. This r plus means a set of positive real numbers. And this function g is defined by this very formula g of x equals to x squared plus 1. The question asks is to find A, the domain of the function G, B, the core domain of the function G, and C, the range of the function G. Solution to this very problem. So starting with the very first question, that is the domain. Remember, domain is always your very first set. This function G takes each and every element from this first set X and assign it to a single element in the second set which is r plus that is set of positive real numbers and we have a set x already these are the elements these are the members inside this very first set which you now say is our domain so i will now write the elements in this domain as uh, these elements minus two minus one zero one and two this is now be my set of domain I'll now move to question number B, that is the core domain. The core domain is always your second set, uh, and this second set it says R plus, meaning all those positive numbers. So I'll now have uh, my set of core domain. Let me just write it in the set builder form, as I have many, many elements here. So it's now core domain would now be set containing X such that X is greater than zero, meaning all positive values. This is my core domain because the elements there are very, very many. We don't know even how many you have there. So I'll now move to the last question that is the range. Range, remember, says it is a subset of the core domain. So it will now be a subset of this set. That is subset of this uh, subset of the set of real positive numbers, positive real numbers. So what I'm going to do. I will now take each and every element in my domain and substitute it in the given function and find the image of that very element. That gives me the members in the range. So let me start with the very first element, minus 2. Minus 2, when substituted in the given function, g of x in this very formula. You now have x square, so instead of x square, you now have uh, minus 2 square. I have replaced this x by minus 2, then plus 1. This end result will give me 5, and 5 will now be in the core domain. Let me take the next element. The next element in my first set, that is domain, which is minus 1. And substitute in the given function g, and find it is image. So I now have g of minus 1 to be equals to minus 1 square plus one and this result uh, you give you two finally so the image of minus one will give you this number two i'll continue i'll take all the elements because for this g to be a function each and every element in your very first set must be assigned must be assigned to a particular element in the second set so you have to do for all so let me just take zero so g of 0 will now be 0 squared plus 1, and this gives you 1 finally. And g of 1 will now be 1 squared plus 1, which gives you 2. And the last is g of 2, that is the image of the element 2. Will now be 2 squared plus 1, and this gives you 5. If I should just draw this so that you see it exactly. So this will now be your function g. And this is the very first set X containing element minus two to two, and this is just a, just a part of your part of your second set of the containing positive real numbers. I just sample one, two, three, four, five. There are many more down, and there are many more before this 
this one there are zeros there are negative numbers so this contains large large number of elements see i just a sample so you can see this minus two is assigned to five minus one assigned to two zero assigned to one one assigned to two two assigned to five just from this just from this you can see g of minus two this is your minus two it is image will now be five g of minus one look at the minus one and it is image will now be this number two g of zero look at it uh, i have one so g of one this, this it will now zero will now be assigned to this number one look at it it is from this that i have this mapping so i can now find the range as quickly as possible i can see it physically here so range remember it says it is set of the core domain that have free image this one has a free image zero this two has two pre images minus one and one this five has a pre image minus two and two so it is those elements that have pre images are the members in your range therefore my range will now consist uh, it would now consist of these elements one two and five i will not write the three i will not write this four and i will not write all other numbers that are in this set of the code domain that is set of positive real numbers this is my range let me just move and take one more example example number three it says let the function g from the set of negative integers to to a set of negative integers and defined by the function g of x equals to 2x minus 1. The question asked here is to find uh, is to find the question number a the domain b code domain and c the range. Solution to this very problem. Look at our back at our function. It is a function g that takes each and every element in the set of negative integers. This is z minus means set of negative integers and assign it to a single element in the set of negative integers and this function g is defined by this very formula 2x minus 1 so we have to answer these three questions so let's just start a solution to the very first one that is the domain the main remember is your very first set and this very first set is set of negative integers so my domain would now be this z minus but just to see the elements physically inside the set, you now have uh, from minus infinity up to minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. So minus 1 is the largest number there. So these are the elements inside your domain. The domain, remember, is a set. So I'll now move to question number B. Question number B asks to find the core domain. Core domain is always your second set. And this second set is another set of negative integers. So this gives you z minus also, and this also is nothing but the same set uh, from minus infinity up to this minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. Minus 1 is also the largest number there. But to get the range, remember range, it is a subset of the core domain containing elements from that to core domain. But those elements are those elements that have uh, pre images in your domain that is in your first set so starting uh, with this that is the range to get this range i will now sample some values in my domain and substitute them in the given rule that is in the given function g of x and try to find out the nature of the images there so starting with uh, one of the elements in my domain that is this minus three i just want to have a look at the nature of the images when substituted in this very function so taking this minus 3 from the domain i substituted in the given function g of x i now have g of minus 3 that is i want to find the image of minus 3 under this function g so i'm going to have 2 times minus 3 minus 1 and this gives me this gives me minus 7 let me take the next which is minus 2 and find it is image so g of minus 2, that is the image of minus 2, the function g would now be 2 times uh, x, and x is now minus 2, then minus 1, and this gives you finally minus 5. Let me take one more, g of minus 1. 
this gives you two times minus one then the result minus one this gives you minus three so look at this images minus seven minus five minus three just this three that i have sampled it's like i'm getting a negative odd numbers negative odd numbers this is what i'm getting and i can even see it in the formula two times x whatever x is if x is even or x is odd if you multiply it by two it will change it to even and when you subtract one from any even number what you are getting is another or is an odd number so you can see here is justified that what we are getting as images of each and every element that i pick from the domain it will give me a negative odd number so in that you can now write the range range to now be equals to from this samples that i have here is not only this uh, because even this elements from the domain is not only this i have i just sample some so the range will now be containing minus seven minus five uh, minus three but there are many others before this minus seven so if i want to write it clearly i can now just write uh, negative odd numbers that are smaller than minus one so all those uh, odd numbers that are negative and those that are smaller than minus one so starting from minus three minus five minus seven like that up to the end so this will now be my range this is the end of this very lesson my dear student i hope you find it interesting and uh, i'll just move to the last segment which is fun and give you what is interesting about the number 132 so 132 is equal to the sum of all the different combinations of two digit number made from its digits the digits in 132 were 1 3 and 2 so the different digit that is the different possible two digit number you can have using those digits 1 3 and 2 let's just see those numbers i can have 13 and 31 by making use of 1 and 3 13 and 31 i can have 12 and 21 that is using 1 and 2. I can have 32 and 23. That is using 3 and 2. These are the only six numbers that you can form which are two digits by making use of those two out of those three digits, 1, 3, and 2. So if I add this result, I tell you, my dear student, you get there, you number this number 132 back. If you add those six numbers, that is addition of 13, 31, 12, 21, 32, and 23. What you are getting back is the number surely 132. This is really interesting. I believe uh, many other numbers, this thing could not happen. Thank you for your attention. We see more of these interesting things in mathematics in our subsequent lessons.